I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about what SBA does, and I'm sure many of you know um, a lot about SBA, but um, I know Dana knows about SBA. She's involved with our 8A program, and Len used to be, and DJ, and probably many of you. Oh, I call him DJ. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, first, I was going to talk a little bit about the three C's of SBA, what we call our three C's, uh, capital, counseling, and contracting. And those are the three big areas where we assist small businesses. So first, I'll talk a little bit about credit. Um, we make loans at SBA. We make all different kinds of loans. We make Our major loan program is the 7A loan program, and we could make quite huge loans under that program. Uh, we have our 504, well actually let me back up a little bit. Uh, loan proceeds can be used for uh, real estate, buildings, working capital, inventory, um, equipment, just a variety of uh, uses for SBA loan funds. Uh, we have our 504 loan program. It helps small businesses buy a building for their business. And it's a really wonderful program because a small business can get into a building with maybe 10% down. And um, the rest is funded through SBA and another uh, first party lender, a major bank. And we find that many times when a small business was renting or leasing a building, when you do all the numbers, it turns out that maybe it's about the same or cheaper to own your own building. So. Um, if you're interested in that, you can let me know about that. Uh, last year, the SBA loaned $30 billion to about 60,000 small businesses around the country. So, any questions on loans before I kind of just move on? Can yes? you loan the land too for business? Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, if there's going to be a purchase of the land to, build, to buy a, build a building, but not just raw land. Yeah, and we do have, yes, Len? Oh, I was just going to say, we don't uh, loan to people building apartment buildings or personal well, residences. Business, yeah. yeah. If you're going to buy, uh, you know, build a building on that property, yeah, we can do that. So the, uh, how, uh, what time frame do I have to build the building? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'd have to get out the SOP and do a little research. <laughs> But if, I, if you want to call me, I'll give you my card and I can figure that okay. out and get, okay. and get back to you. Okay, Lynn? What is the criteria for the underwriters to be able to take advantage of some of these loans? Well, you have to know, you know, basically we do our loans with the banks. So the banks are the ones actually making the loans and working with you to figure out uh, whether they can make you a loan or not. So they're going to want to know how much money you want, what you want it for, and how you're going to pay it back. So the criteria is we're, we want the loan to be paid back through the normal cash flow of the business. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, we expect the applicant to put in a good portion of what they need for this project or whatever their, the loan amount of what they need. Um, you know, it's regular stuff. It's not a, it, you need fairly good credit. You have to have a, you know, a good plan. Um, good character, good management, all of those things, we look at it all together. Any other questions about loans? Yeah? Is there, uh, are, there, are there particular banks that you work with or is there any bank or how does that um, Most every bank works with us. Some are a lot more active than others. Uh, we have a list on our website of um, all the lenders who work with us. Uh, some are what we call preferred lenders. They have the ability to make the loan pretty much without telling us they just they just do it and let us know uh, those are preferred lenders that can be done pretty quick we have other lenders uh, we also have a micro loan program through at various um, locations around the state uh, Washington Cash has a micro loan program CCD has one of our micro loan programs where we give them a chunk of money and they loan it out to small businesses which I've been finding more and more loans, uh, small businesses had a micro loan and then worked up to a 7A loan and then maybe they buy a building and they have a 504 loan. You know, it's kind of, it's really cool when that happens, so. Yes? What, what is the dollar figure associated with the micro loan as opposed to the 7A loan? Um, 
Another question that's a little tough. I think it goes up to 50000 mm -hmm. is a microloan. And I think our 7A can go, oh, I'm kind of guessing, but it's two and a half million, something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly. They changed the figures with the Recovery Act, and then they went back, right. and so, yes? So, um, do you guys guarantee the loan? How's that work? Yeah, we guarantee the loan. So you, so also for you have your working capital guarantee program also in place. Uh, we do. Um, we don't really have a working capital guarantee program, but um, we have a um, contracting program called Cap Lines to help contractors uh, finance a particular project. That's kind of a new program that they've been streamlining over the years and tried to make it better. So yes. If I can just do a little plug too, within the state's Minority Women's Business Enterprise Program, they have the Link Deposit Program, right? And a lot of times, firms will go and get the SBA loan and then get the link enroll in the Link Deposit. So you're getting a guaranteed loan, and then you get two percent off the interest rate of the loan too. So mm -hmm. there's a, a some criteria yeah. to that one as well. That works really great. Yeah. And and we guarantee about seventy five percent of the loan amount. Uh, so the bank. You know, as a 75% guarantee if, if the small business defaults. Um, so that's why they're going to go ahead and make a loan that they maybe normally wouldn't have made. Yeah, the link deposit process right now is, uh, it depends on the pool of funds that are, that's available that the state has provided. Right now, the total is, is $175 million, but uh, there's a waiting list of a lot of, all of a sudden there's a lot of firms wanting to, to, to use it. So, so mm -hmm. right now it's, it's about seven to eight months. So wow. start, so. With interest rate rates so low anyway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I have another question. The, uh, in related to the bonding. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I called the SBA for its uh, bonding program, right? So you can uh, guarantee bond up to $2 million, I understand, right? Once you qualify that, uh, after one project, do you have to reapply for the bonding, or one bonding has to, you know, for a certain period hmm. of time is uh, good? Well, I'm not in the bonding program, but I think what a uh, contractor gets in the program, they, they stay in. I think you can um, roll your bonding amount, ask your bonding amount to get higher. Um, I think, you know, every bond is, you're going to have to apply for every bond. So each yeah. project you have to apply. Yeah, they, they do give you a level, though, that they think you can work under. But that's another great program we have. Um, if you have any trouble getting bonding uh, for construction project, project projects, bid, performance, and payment bonds. And they actually have, there's only two offices in the whole country, and one is in Seattle, and then the other one's in Denver. So we're kind of lucky that we have one here. And I could, you know, if your group wanted a, a bonding guy to come out, I could probably arrange that so to get more details I think that'd be good I get a raise of hand to folks who have some interest in bonding okay okay great great thank you um, I was just gonna talk a little bit about our counseling before I get to contracting uh, you may have heard of SCORE um, they there's three chat um, four chapters in Western Washington three in Western Washington and four in Eastern Washington we have a big chapter in Seattle, uh, about 80 counselors, uh, free service, um, either, either for startups or growing businesses or businesses maybe run into a little glitch and they need to sit down and talk with some uh, neutral advisor about strategies to kind of get out of that or, or make a plan to grow. I mean, we, they are fantastic. Um, over the years, you might have heard here and there that there are a bunch of old guys and don't know things, and and that. <laughs> but that's really not true. I mean, we have um, super. A lot of them are so well off that they retired early, and and they're giving back to the community, and and uh, they have a lot of knowledge about different topics. You know, uh, even industry. Like we have a restaurant guy, we have a technology guy. We have a guy who teaches everybody how to read their financial statements. Um, we have media, social media uh, classes on how to use that to uh, get business. Uh, those workshops that we have do are minor cost, but the counseling is totally free um, with SCORE. 